up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Blimey. And I've come yeah. to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish. That Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? Sorry, I ain't that kind of fella no more. I can't seem to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my prison in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, Easy, the church has on. more money than anybody. Yo, brain gone, boss. Where are we going, Ain't Irish? Just to the warehouse yeah. here in Thieves Landing. I'm Brand telling you, Johnny boy, up. it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Damn. That stuttering bastard said this would be often. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Oh, shite. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. 
I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Just walk away! Thank you for your kindness, Mr. I th 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 thought I, w I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's have a bottom more at the door. Follow me. No, no, you don't. God, you sure are a pathetic bunch of freaks! This is looking for a real man. Look it's out! This way. More of them bastards! I've got my shooting pants on. He's a 
getting closer. Looks like that's the lot. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -shake. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Johnny, I'll get you back to McFarland. piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that feller out of the bridge. Jesus, we really ruffled a few feathers back there. Seems like half new Austin wants to be dead. Jesus, somebody wants that ammunition real bad. I don't know if I can take much far as this. You're shooting right at me. How many are there? Hell of a team, me and you. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for parts, Marcer. you got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. when you can ride, mister.
Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, oh, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. I think we should leave Plainview for another day, John. Let's go, my boy. I think we've outstayed our welcome here. Keep your eye out, John. Uh, 
a man of the people? You sure ain't very popular. I'm up against the weight of premium ignorance, my boy. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. Ain't no need to die, friend! How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. John, there's Queen Osaka up ahead. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. 